uh, uh, one of the big ones being Dreffin, uh, kind of the upset earlier, but we'll get into this. Yeah, Spark already starting off with a nice power shield into power shield laser into a grab, which is exactly what you want versus Falco. Everything going uh, Spark's way right now. It's going to be Lewis's chance to make an upset here. Yes. It is, now, now you got to be questioning, is it Lewis or Louis? <laughs> I know. Someone no. in chat is telling us, but we can't see chat. So the point is, um, one of the things I like that I've seen from, uh, we're just going to say Lewis, yeah. uh, uh, so far, is that I like when Spalcos are willing to commit to the Shine Grab, because on paper, Shine Grab seems like it's not that good. It doesn't really open up Sheik in the same way that like a Shine or a Down Air would. Right. But a lot of Sheiks, knowing that, kind of like give it up too often. And so there are a lot of situations where you can like get Sheik off stage with the forward throw, or get her above you, and she has struggle struggles to come down with the up throw. And that can be really valuable. Ooh, that's not the... Why does that exist? Like, yeah, as a Falco main, I'm like, it's a forward smash and they go up? Yeah. Not a fan. I'm okay with that. No, you're okay. Yeah, yeah, I'm okay, yeah. 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 Oh, of course, of course. Versus Falco. It's yes. all right. I think it's fair. But yeah, no, it's a good point. I think Shine Grab is a very strong tool. And at the very least, it puts a mental stack on the opponent, so they have to at least remember that you can't do it. Like, especially in that kind of situation, Shine Grab would have worked there because Spark was holding shield. Well, the other thing that's like worth bringing up is Sheik's shield is huge. So, like, you do a double shine, I would say never double shine in this matchup. Because, yes, you can kind of call out certain actions out of shield, but if they, like, you're never, ever, ever going to shield poke, pretty much. And some of the value of double shine is, of course, trying to punish the action out. But there is also, like, get the shield a bit small and then try to kind of shield poke. And that just isn't a thing with Sheik. Like, yeah. this is something Fiction has talked a lot about. And, like, you, it feels counterintuitive, but you get a lot of mileage from it. Definitely. I mean, it makes sense, especially with the way that Spark's been doing, like, the shield angling and just even doing, like, the nares out of shield. You have to be, like, perfect yes. with the pressure from Falco's head. And then she can just get so much off of it if you're just a little bit off. Well, but even, like, the simplest way to measure it is, like, we'll see how many shine out of, uh, double shines are actually, like, leading to a measurable opening. Because right now, those two double shines could have been a shine grab and would have led to something, right? So. Really fast and air off the ledge there from Spark. Nice Spark grab. Oh, oh. Another missed kind of edge guard sequence there from. Wow, oh, is that air? That was amazing. That was fantastic. Runoff okay, Nair. I, I, yeah. don't, I don't know if that runoff Nair was on purpose because. But I think you can't doubt Spark ever. So maybe it was. But if that was an adaptation off your mistake, that was beautiful for Spark. Yeah, definitely, definitely very impressive. Yeah. High down air on shield doesn't get punished though. Um, so far, like, I don't think Lewis is playing anything, like, super impatiently. No. But I just think that, like... Spark is just hitting way harder. Yeah. Spark is just hitting exactly. so hard. You, you beat me to the point, yeah. Like, it, it's, it's so much of a noticeable difference. Yeah. And that kind of tends to happen, but then, like, the way Falco balances that out usually is, like, maybe winning neutral a bit more consistently, um, getting a lot of, like, small positional openings that lead to, like, 30% here, 30% there, yeah. and we're not seeing that. So unless Lewis is able to kind of, like, balance that out, uh, you know, adaptation needs to happen quick. Yeah, and I think typically the way that Falco does get those, like, openings that you're talking about is through the laser, but Spark is actually doing a great job either crouching under laser or even, like, going close enough to be able to, like, F-tilt, like, wave dash forward F-tilt out of the yeah. lasers, right? So even the ways that Falco traditionally gets some of these openers. Nice tag. Spark doing a great job mitigating. So another thing that I think you really want to look at to see like how experienced and comfortable someone is in the Sheik matchup is how they engage with her on the side platform. Because when she's on the side platform, there's a lot of ways where you can try to challenge it. Beautiful sequence, by the way. Nasty sequence. Uh, you can try to challenge it, and it's like really the wrong way. And so like some of the good ways are trying to get directly under her. You can do like jump shines to try to punish her. You can try to go for like little up bears. But if you try to like attack at that weird diagonal angle, it, it just can go miserably. And so far like Lewis kind of has been doing that a bit. Like he's been trying to engage or like back off and shoot lasers. Which is, which is not what you want to do. Yeah, Spark is choosing like the exact trajectories to come and attack. And again, another crouch on the laser, yeah. so just heavily mitigating a lot of these neutral options that Falco loves doing. Oh no, we got oh, a little pit fight. Opening. Little pit fight. Roll to the. Oh, I was gonna think roll to the right. Nice. We were talking about shield pressure sequences. That was a smart spark pressure sequence. I love the trying to angle above with the down tilt. <laughs> But it's, it's more than like the very basic late air double shine thing that you see that works really well versus spacies, but I don't like versus she. Yeah, that, no, that's fair, that's fair. Ooh, look at the, the eye on the down air too. No additional combo for Falco. Again, we're just seeing the crouch. Really good DI though, defensively as well from uh, Lewis. Spark is slipping and sliding. 
see that wave land? I, I like the I like the movement. Spark is looking in the zone. They're also very close to us, by the way. They really are. They're, they're like they're they're like two we are like in away. some ways mid set coaching as we speak. Uh, but thankfully the ultimate people are enthusiastic enough to drown it all out. That's right. But uh, another big tech chase opportunity here and. This is where it's looked really brutal, and like, I mean, you can't even fault the Falco here. It's just Spark is just doing a phenomenal job. I'm gonna, I'm gonna fault the Falco here. Okay, <laughs> <laughs> like, okay. So this is how I feel. Uh, tech chasing stuff works. Is that even though it feels like it's completely disconnected, because uh, Lewis hasn't been hitting that hard, it makes the tech chasing easier. I know that seems like one of these like, like you can use magic crystals to heal yourself kind of weird pseudoscience, but okay. like. I feel like Spark is under not enough pressure at all. So when That's he goes to these tech chases, he's like in the rhythm, he's at home practicing on Uncle Punch. And if it was like Mango doing the same Sight DI, the same everything, like this is, people know this, but I feel like that's why he's so consistent. It's not like Spark is, I don't think at least, playing like super hot today in terms of the tech chasing. I think it's just that like, Lewis isn't yet able to kind of like, make him on the back foot. No, I mean, yeah, if, if you're in a pressured uh, situation, you're more likely to drop things that you might not have dropped otherwise because you're being pressured. Also, by the way, that last stock was that air, forward air again, so Spark definitely meant to do that yeah. in game one as well, so. Goddamn. Again? Oh my god. And even oh there, my Spark god. doesn't go for the forward air because that's a chance for the Falco to tech. Instead, goes back up and then gets the reverse forward air, so there's no chance to tech. Just these little things where it's like, you can't even, I'm not even gonna give you the option to get out. I just I can't, there. I can't help but say that double shine that led him to a death, but you know, <laughs> we're, not, we're not gonna go there. I, like, I, I don't know why I'm hating. This is like one of my Falco brothers and I'm just like, I'm just, I'm just going in on them. Like, it's it just, it just that kind of matchup. Like, there's, it's sort of where like, has soft rules that you can't, yeah. like, can't break. And like, uh, you know, I think once you play that correctly, it, it really makes Falco look very, very, very good. Okay, yeah. One thing I will say that Lewis has been doing very well is uh, comboing off a laser. There have been a lot of opportunities where like these like really tiny spacings gets a laser and then like gets an up tilt off of it or a shine, which is actually pretty hard to do versus Sheik. Yeah. Because oh, she's so fast, cool. right? Like, yeah, very fast, especially the way that Spark has been playing off the laser as well to get any kind of damage off that is huge. But Spark is really running away with this. I. I this is a tough comeback to make. I mean, any knockdown here, yep, you're going to get... It's, it's probably KO. It's just so much that you have to do to come back. Okay. Also, just the edge guarding hasn't been like super clean from the Falco's end, you know? Yeah, no, like, that, that was at high percent at least, but I, I there, agree. There's no like rinse and repeat kind of edge guard sequences that we're accustomed to seeing against Sheik. This is the thing. There. I think you... Yeah, that was... Another thing that Fiction talks about is that you need to treat the edge guarding as one long combo. Whereas, like when you're playing Fox, you get Sheik off stage, you probably kill her like just by up smashing, doing a little like wave shine sequence, something that's like relatively straightforward. With Falco, you end up doing like more of a rinse repeat, but you still end up killing her. And so oh, yeah, yeah, yeah. the advice he had was like, you just need to treat it like, okay, this is part of the combo. The off stage and the knocking off again into maybe doing like a shine back air and then finally closing it out. And I think that mental shift of not having to like make it feel like you're really getting all the mileage off of that one edge guard is big. Cause like that's something that Sheik's doing to you. She's needling you once and you're dead. Oh yeah. So, I mean, uh, playing the long game in those